We're going to do now a short flare sleeve. And this is what it looks like. It's fitted into the armhole, but it's flared at the hemline. So it's called a short flared sleeve. So once again, all we need to do is to create um, the short sleeve where we want our short sleeve to be. We are using a plain paper or whatever paper you've got, spot or cross or brown. We place your block on your new sheet of paper like that. And then once you've got that, we're then going to trace off or mark round the head of the sleeve to where we want the short line to be. Now we're going to mark around the block like that. And then I'm going to use that line for my short line. You can make it a bit longer if you want or shorter. But let's just use that line because we've got that on there marked already. We put in our balance mark as per usual. And then we put our grain line on and we then connect our lines up. So we can put our block to one side once we've got that. And then we're going to now create our, our uh, flare on the sleeve after we've connected up our grain line. We've put the, where the, the mark where we want the short sleeve to be, which is there again. Mark on the grain line there. We've got our balance mark in and then you trace that off so that's where you start trace off your sleeve the position where you want your short sleeve to be and we use the block to do that so once we've got that that is the first step that we do once we've got that now we've got to trace that off or copy that off we copied it off on another sheet of paper like this and what we're going to do we're going to now we've copied it off we divide it into two, one two three section so i've got a line down there um down there and a line there you must remember to put your center balance line in your center line so you've got one section over there one section two section three section so you've divided up your um, short sleeve that you've created and we're going to create it cut it into sections and we mark them on divide it equally so once we've got that which I've um, arrived at here all I'm going to do now I'm going to slash upon that line slash upon that line and then I'm going to open so this is a method it's called slash and spread so I'm going to cut up I've done cut it right through just to the top there and to the top here. Oh, oh, that's gone right through, but it shouldn't. We should leave it. So I've got to hold that there so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't, I'm going to hold that so it doesn't go off. Or you can pin it on, put a weight on it so it doesn't move, but it must touch must goes back to that point there like that and then what we do is we're going to open up even amount in that space and in this space here so we're getting that shape we're getting that shape on our new pit sheet sheet of paper so once we've got that we we now have to mark that out on a new sheet of paper so we open out you must remember to put a weight on that so it doesn't move and we open that we put a weight on it in the middle section so we've got one section two section and the third section there so three two one so the, the amount we put in there de determines how wide we want the hem of the garment to be uh, your sleeve garment to be so you can go it depends also on the type of fabric if you have a thick fabric you don't want to put too much but if you've got a very thin fabric you can put you know quite a bit so you get a good fullness at 
the hemline. So I'm going to open that, but you've got to remember you've got to make it even. Whatever that space is, that space has got to be. So you just open it out, whether it's four inches, three inches. The more you open up, the wider it gets, right? So I'm just going to do open mine out a good about four inches there and four inches there and once you've got that that measurement you measure and make sure that they are the same in that space that space and that space there so once you've got them and you've got them secure on your your new sheet of pattern first of all I normally like to put my grain line on first so I mark that at the top and I mark that there and all I do is just copy that round that new shape that I've got on there down like that across to there like that cross the head round the head of the sleeve mustn't forget to do that as it's as you open out and it's touching don't forget don't cut it all the way through I did but my one but if you do all you could do is just make sure it's secure on your paper before you mark out and then you mark down the sides along there and along there and then you mark along the bottom there of the three pieces long there long there and long there and that's the amount that you've put in for the fullness of your your um the bottom of your sleeve so once you've done that and you've got your marks on, where you've got your balance mark, don't forget to put those in while your pattern's on, balance mark and your grain line. You can move your patterns away, your pattern pieces out of the way. Don't never throw them away until you've completed your pattern because if anything goes wrong or you're called away to do something else when you come back, you're not sure you can go back to your your draft so i'm going to put on my grain line there first thing that's my grain line and that's my center of my sleeve also so that's my balance mark i'm going to put them clearly on so we can see and you can see where i didn't draw it in there so with your curve you just got to fill that in so that it touches there and then you fill that in so that it touches that point so you've got to get a good good curve on your bottom so if you haven't got a good steady hand you just use your curve you should have a curve to work with because your curve is very good to give you your curve line so as you can see that is curving out so um, that is now the shape of your sleeve so it's fitted in that armhole both round the front and round the back but at the bottom it flares out so this is now your grain line and then you now have to remember that your block hasn't got any seam allowance so you have to add your seam allowance on like this as per usual before you cut out your actual sleeve so we're going to put our seam allowance around there all the way along like that like that like that and then down the side and round the armhole so seam allowance on there like that and then we're going to with us with our um curve if you're not very, you haven't got a very good steady hand curve around the armhole so you get a nice run round your armhole with your curve or you curve it with your hand and then you add your seam allowance around the head of your sleeve like that all the way along so that finishes your your sleeve and then you need to cut two of these for your sleeve and so that is your straight grain sometimes I it depends on what I want. If I want that to even drape even more, I cut my sleeve on the bias. So you have to find your your bias line on your pattern. And then you 
you can put a grain line that's only depending on if you want to do that if you want to um draw your a grain line on there for on the bias you 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 um find your grain line along there and you can put your grain line and you can use that you can cut your sleeve on the bias so that completes your the sleeve that's what your sleeves looks like so i'll just fill that in here your seam allowance round so you get a nice curve all the way round and round the head of the sleeve like that to give you your seam allowance around the head of the sleeves so it fits in round into your arm hole like that so that is your sleeve so you start off with marking around the head of your sleeve to the length where you want on your block your block from your block rather so you mark around the head of your sleeve to the length you require right i've done a short sleeve because i said a short flare sleeve you can make it longer three quarters elbow length and you can even do it long so you, it's the same principle but instead of um, doing it short you will come all the way down to the bottom of your sleeve and then you separate them into three three section and you open it exactly the same as we open it out for for to get to arrive at the the sleeve flare at the hem so that is how you create your your sleeve for a short flare sleeve start off with your sh short sleeve then you slash your pattern so you put uh, I'm just gonna mark the lines on the marks on here so that you can see um, how we separate that and we've got to separate it like that so we put a line in there so we've got one two three section and then we slash up slash up open out to arrive at your sleeve so this is how we create the short flare sleeve starting off there and finishing here so that is your flare short sleeve pattern from your block there we go. Bye.